I built a crystal set to see how well it would work in the rural area of West Tennessee where I live. There are no high power AM broadcast stations closer than Nashville, which is 90 miles or about 145 kilometers away. The nearest station where I live is only 750 watts. Several stations within 25 miles or 40 kilometers are only 1,000 watts. Being in a rural area, I have room for a 300 foot or about a 91 meter wire antenna up 50 feet or about 15 meters. This has helped overcome the lack of a strong signal. The crystal set is a classic sliding coil set with a series tuning on the antenna coil and parallel tuning on the detector coil. In this demonstration, the diode is Radio Shack 1N34 I bought about 20 years ago. The unusually long antenna worked so well with this simple radio, I decided to see if it would drive a loudspeaker. After attaching a matching transformer from the junk box to the high impedance output of the radio, it matched well into an 8 ohm load. But after trying paper cone speakers from 1 inch to 8 inches in diameter, none were loud enough to be worth the effort. After reading of other people successfully using metal PA speakers, I tried that and found that it was the key to success. I tried the two PA speakers I had in the junk box, and the largest of the two was the best. If one is within two or three feet of the speaker, everything is perfectly audible, if somewhat softer than we would usually consider comfortable listening. There are several reports on the internet of radios with antennas only a few feet long or several tens of meters within a mile or two of 50,000 watt stations and they give get table radio volume. This is how it sounds at 3 p.m. in the afternoon listening to a 750 watt station 13 miles or 21 kilometers away. This crystal set will play at table radio volume at night when the AM broadcast band propagation opens up. Two hours after sunset, I can hear WSM in Nashville, 90 miles away, or 145 kilometers, WLS in Chicago, 380 miles, or 612 kilometers, WWL New Orleans, 450 miles, or 724 kilometers, WSB in Atlanta, 330 miles, or 531 kilometers, WOAI in San Antonio, 700 miles or 1,127 kilometers, and occasionally WRKO in Boston, 1,000 miles or 1,600 kilometers away. All this will work with the speaker and be listened to comfortably from 15 feet away. Of course, there is no RF amplification and no AGC, so fading is constantly in and out. When you study the old magazine articles, you will notice no reports of loudspeakers being used on crystal sets in the 1920s and 30s. Permanent magnet speaker technology wasn't yet in use then. If a regen or a super -ed radio had a speaker, it used a power-hungry field coil instead of a permanent magnet. The first crystal set with a speaker I've seen in a magazine dates to about 1960. Now let's see how it sounds with nighttime skip.